Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and I love reviewing makeup. I love eyeshadow, I love bright colourful eyeshadow and today we've got iHeart Revolution and I don't usually buy from iHeart Revolution anymore unless they've got something that I really really like the look of and I don't just have an obsession with eyeshadow, I also have an obsession with cheese. I love cheese especially on pasta, cheesy pasta is life and yes this collection is a bit cheesy it is a bit gimmicky, it is a bit weird, which is why I liked it and I wanted to pick it up. And the whole set cost me £20 on the Revolution website, I will link everything down below and I'll show you the close-ups and the swatches and then we'll stick it on my face. Okay, so the swatches weren't the absolute best in the world, but you know, some of them were better than others. And the fact that this is called the Big Cheese Palette, I'm sorry, but I actually quite like that. Um, I know a lot of people will hate this collection. It's one of those Marmite collections, you'll love it or hate it. But looking at the colour story of this palette, I'm thinking, what were they thinking? Um, I was expecting a lot more yellows and oranges than there are. There's quite a lot of pinks. And when I was swatching them, I'm like, a lot of them are similar to each other. Like we didn't really need a feta and Swiss cheese. And some of the lighter shades, the lighter pink shades, like there's three light pinks and then a real light neutral colour here. And I'm I just, mm, yeah, I, I'm not as impressed with the colour story as I thought I was going to be. Um, but it's cheese. This little palette didn't swatch the best. Um, this one is called the Mini Cheese. Absolutely love the packaging. I know, I know, okay, I know. Stop judging me. But yeah, didn't swatch the best. This shade at the bottom was quite nice. That was the best one I swatched it out of these. But yeah, not overly fond of the colour story of this one, but I, I, I do quite like the packaging. And then the highlighter, the cheese highlighter, um, it's got two shades. Oh, when I can get it open. And they look quite pretty. Um, I know that Revolution do highlighters really, really well, so I'm excited to try that out. Like, the thing that drew me the most, and it's not even the makeup, it's the lip balm. I'm sorry, but to have this sat on my dressing table, I know I've got issues, okay? Issues. But, I mean, just look at it. I mean, it's not practical. Like, how are you going to put that on your lips easily? It's, like, quite angular. However, it looks super cute. Oh, and it does smell a bit. It smells quite sweet. Yeah, definitely smells a little bit sweet, that one. And then the sponges, um, the little cheese sponge. I haven't wet this one, but I have already wet the mousy sponge. Um, not the softest sponge that I've got in my sponge collection, but, you know, not the firmest either. I think this might be quite nice. So we're going to use all these things, see what we think, play around with some cheese. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the sponge and just apply my foundation with this. Um, I was expecting to like the sponge. I mean, it's just a sponge. Like I say, not the softest I've got. The coloured rain sponge is probably the softest or best I've got, but expensive. Um, so this is a nice sponge for the price. I like that it's a little mouse to go with the cheese collection. I think that's super cute. Yeah, I'd say that sponge is a good sponge. Can't complain. And it's applied the foundation really nicely. And I am going to set my face with the Jeffree Star Powder in Translucent. Um, 
and I am going to use the little cheesy sponge just underneath the eyes. I'm spilling powder everywhere. So I'm just going to take my little cheesy sponge and a little bit of powder. There's so much on my desk right now, it's insane. And I'm just going to use that very lightly just to, because it's a nice angled sponge, it can get right in there and set my under eyes. That worked quite well, that, yeah, I definitely use the sponge for setting under eyes. It's a good shape for that. And then just while I'm sat here, I'm gonna use some of the lip balm. Um, I'm not actually quite sure how to use it, like, oh, like you wouldn't put it straight on your lips, surely. Surely you'd rub it, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be that much coming off on my finger. However, it does have a little pink, a pink sheen to it. Now I'm putting it on the lips. I'm not sure if you're gonna be seeing that, but I mean, super cute though. Like, you can't deny this looks cute. Yeah, not the easiest to use, but I more bought it to stand on my desk and look cute. Yes, I've got issues. Let me put the rest of my base products on and then we'll come back and test the highlighter. Okay, so for the highlighter, it does have a lighter shade and a deeper shade. And we'll see, they look quite dry and powdery, but they might go on really, really nice. We'll see, but I think both of them look really nice. I think I'd be able to wear both of them, but I think I'm gonna go for this one today, which is the lighter one. And we'll see how this goes on because I do usually like a Revolution highlight, like the Soph highlighter palettes are amazing. Um, so we'll see what we think to this one. Like I say, it does feel more on the powdery side. Like, I know it's a powder highlighter, but you know what I mean. Um, and it's not the most blinding that I've seen from Revolution, but it's pretty. Um, yeah, it's definitely there. It looks pretty, emphasising all my texture, but most highlighters do do that. So yeah, I'm, I'm fairly impressed with that. I quite like that little highlighter palette. So time for the eye look, and I'm just going to prime with my Beauty Bay Eye Base in the shade number two, as I usually would. And I don't have a plan for an eye look. I was just too excited to get the cheese palettes. Uh, oh, what am I doing with my life? Okay, so I'm going to start with the big cheese palette. I'm not even sure if I'm going to dip into this one or not, but we'll have to see. And yeah, the colour story is just a mishmash of colours to me, especially because it's a cheese theme palette. Like, I, I don't really understand it, but at least there's some variety in there. There's not really any depth, is there? Let's be honest. Yeah, I just feel like they've got a lot of light shades. Where's the depth in there? Um... I could have done even if there was going to do a dark brown like there is a deeper brown in this one so maybe I'll start out with the deeper brown just to try and get some depth from somewhere from the mini cheese palette and I'm going to pop that on the outer corner and hope that it's going to be deep enough for my liking but that is going on very nicely seems pigmented it's not as deep as I'd usually like my outer corner to be. Um, but like I say, there just isn't a shade in these two palettes that's going to cater to that, unfortunately. Then I want to go into the brown shade that's in the Big Cheese palette, which is called Emmental, which is this one here. And I'm just going to pop that above that other brown. But yeah, that's quite a bit lighter. And blend it out. Then I think I want to take the orangey shade from the smaller palette and I did quite like that when I swatched it and I think I just want to continue just above the crease with that orangey shade. Um, it's a shame that there wasn't more oranges in this collection just because, you know, cheese, orange, yellow. Like I could have understood some blue because of like blue cheese. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really understand the colour story behind this. It's like they've just done whatever colour story they wanted to do and just put the fact it's a cheese theme on the packaging and the names. But that orange is lovely and vibrant. I like that orange. 
then because I want to keep it sort of cheesy I want to go into Monterey Jack which is this yellow and we'll see how pigmented and bright this yellow is because I'm going to tuck it near the inner corner and it's going to lead into that orange Now, Revolution's formula and I Heart Revolution formula is definitely not my favourite in the world. Um, but these seem to be going on very nicely. And then back into a little bit more of that orange shade. Just to blend them a bit better. And I'm going to take a little bit of that yellow just to blend out the very edges of that orange. I just feel like there's so many pinks in the Big Trees palette and I just don't think that they need to be there. They're so similar, especially when swatched, they won't look that different on the eye next to each other. I just don't think they needed to be there. Then I am gonna go back into the browns just to re-intensify them and blend them a bit better into the orange that's there. But like I say, this is not really giving me the depth that I wanted in my outer corner, but it is a very nice pigmented brown that seems to blend really easily. And I'm just going to take a bigger fluffier brush with some of that yellow one. Like there could have been a really light yellow shade in here, even like more pastel to blend out this yellow. So I'm just going to take a bit more of that yellow on a fluffier brush just to blend the edges and make them look a bit softer um, since as we don't have a lighter yellow shade. Then I think I'm going to go in and cut the crease. Now I do take my cut creases quite high just so that you can see them when I've got my eyes fully open and relaxed because I do have slightly hooded eyes and I'm just tapping over the edges of that cut crease just to make it easier when we come to blend and add whatever shimmers we're going to go on the crease with. I feel like possibly the yellow and then possibly, possibly the gold or the orange. Hmm. Okay, I feel like we definitely need to have the orange in there. I'm going to start out with Camembert, which is the goldy shimmer, which is here. It doesn't want to pick up on the brush the best. I think I'm going to wet it. Um, just pop this near the inner corner. I think spraying my brush definitely helped this shade. It does look very foily. And bright. Then I'm gonna flip my brush over and I'm gonna go door, door. Okay, answered the door, got a nice little package. <sighs> then I'm gonna go into the orange, which is this one here. I show picks up a lot better and just connect. I am so out of breath now. I had to run to the door. I'm right at the other end of the house from the front door. And I'm just connecting that shimmer to the brown mat. I'm going to blend them all in together so it looks a little bit more seamless rather than just having a stark line. Then I'm just going to take the Emmental light brown that we had earlier and just tap over between the shimmer and the matte where they meet just to sort of blend that in a bit and make it look like it merges nicely. Then for the lower lash line, I did originally put the dark brown from the smaller palette, just a little bit on my lower lash line. So then I'm going to continue that line with the lighter brown from the Big Cheese called Emmental and then maybe a little bit of the orange that was in the smaller palette again. Then I'm just going to work on the outer blend, add a few browns smoke it out a bit. I might add a little bit of the yellow matte Monterey Jack that we used earlier to smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. Yeah, let's go into that yellow and just lightly smoke out that lower lash line without dropping the brush. Okay guys, let me jump off, finish the rest of my makeup. We'll come back, see the finished look and talk about this collection. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and 
I had to use a bright orange lipstick and it was actually what came in a delivery earlier whilst I was filming. Um, my lovely friend Abby, she was doing a little giveaway on one of my friend's Patreon groups and I won the giveaway and one of the things that I picked to get was the MAC lipstick. Like, I've never owned MAC before until very recently so I'm super excited to have a second lipstick from them. This is in the shade Morange. Morange? Morange? I don't know. Absolutely gorgeous stunning orange colour. Orange is my favourite lip colour and blush colour ever, ever, ever. And obviously I had to pair it with this look. I mean, it's a cheese themed collection. So what are you going to do? Um, obsessed, I think it goes really nicely with the eyes. Yes, it is a bit much, but I like to be dramatic. Um, so, you know, dramatic makeup, dramatic eyeshadow, dramatic lips. I haven't used any lashes. I did just go in with the Maybelline Curl Bounce Mascara and the lip liner I used with this lipstick was the LA Girl Lip Liner in Coral. I did pop a bit of the light shimmery yellow shade, which was Camembert, which is this one. I did pop that on my brow bone. And in the waterline, I went in with the Makeup Obsession pencil. It's the Tiffany collection and it's the orange one. And this is in the shade, what shade is this in? Sunset. So I actually really like how this look turned out, to be honest. Um, I think the eyes look quite dramatic. You can definitely see the gorgeous shimmer on there. Not the most spectacular shimmers in the world, but still very, very pretty. I really like it. It's sort of giving me sunset vibes as well as cheese. Um, I feel like the lip goes with it really well. So let's talk about all the different things in this collection. So the sponges, absolutely super cute. Obviously the little cheese, perfect for setting your under eyes. Mouse sponge, you know, it's just a sponge. Not the best, not the worst, it's just a nice sponge. Okay, the reason that I was drawn to this collection was the flipping lip balm. I mean, I know, that's crazy, I know, it's super cute. Is it practical? Absolutely not. This is not an easy one to store in your handbag and take out with you somewhere and you're carrying a little block of cheese to keep your lips hydrated. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the most practical, but if you want it for the same reason that I wanted it, and you wanted it to look cute, sat somewhere, then yeah, I understand you, I get you. The highlighter cheese palette, really, really nice. Um, I really do like Revolution's highlighters. It does look on the powdery side, however, it does go on super nicely. It's not the most blinding in the world, but I think it's super cute. And yeah, it's a nice highlighter. And the two palettes, let's talk about the two palettes, the big cheese and the mini cheese. Um, super cute names. I quite like the packaging. Yes, it's very cheesy, but you know, cheese is life. This one, a cool story for me, uh, is not my favourite. Let's be honest. It's it's just not my favourite. I think both of these palettes, really, the colour stories, it just feels to me like they've used any colour story that they wanted and they've stuck the cheese packaging on it. If this was any other theme other than cheese and I was just looking at the colour stories, I wouldn't have wanted to pick these palettes up looking at how they are and I just it just feels like a mishmash of colour to me and it doesn't feel cheese related. Obviously the names are cheese related in the packaging but the actual colour stories to me it doesn't really feel cheese. When I was swatching them, some swatch better than others. When I was putting them on the eye, I mean, they are pigmented, they do blend. Not my favourite formula, but it is a more drugstore affordable formula. Um, I do think, especially this Camembert shade that I've got on the lid is really, really pretty. Um, it's slightly different formula to the Goats one that's just not as shimmery and reflective. Um, but yeah, I'm not 100% mad. I do think there's too many pinks in there and they do look similar to each other, but it's not a bad palette. I don't think it's bad. Having said all that, would I recommend this collection? Um, only if you're crazy and obsessed with cheese like I am and you really, really like the iHeart Revolution quality. I will say, I know it's drugstore and I know I can't sort of think of this as I do sort of my high-end palettes that I try. I mean, I've got a lot of Mel, I've got a lot of expensive eyeshadow with really good quality formulas. So I know I can't talk about it and review it in the same way because it does have a totally different price point. Having said that, Beauty Bay, you know what I'm going to say? Beauty Bay's formula and price are ridiculously good. Um, the quality that you are getting for the price from Beauty Bay is outstanding. And I just don't think iHeart Revolution, Makeup Revolution or any of the sister brands can keep up with that. Um, the price point of Beauty Bay is so affordable and the formulas and shadows are far more superior than these. So in that respect, I wouldn't recommend it, but I do think it's a cute collection. I'm not mad that I picked it up. The whole bunch for £20, I think is fantastic. I just think the eyeshadow formula, 
maybe is a little bit outdated now. Maybe it needs to be a little bit better. Okay, I said what I said. I can't take it back. It's absolutely fine if you love the formula of Revolution and iHeart Revolution. We're allowed to have different opinions. My favourite eyeshadow palettes are not going to be your favourite eyeshadow palettes, but that's absolutely fine. We can agree to disagree. Um, it's nice that everybody has different favourites, but I do love the theme of this whole collection. I think it's really nice, especially if you're going to gift it to someone. £20 for the whole set. I mean, that is fantastic. And I'm not sure if you can still get discounts on top of that on the Revolution website. Having said that, it's not my favourite formula, and I do feel like that they need to update it a bit. I do think this look came out really nicely. I'm not mad at it. I'm glad I've got it in my collection. I'm not going to be reaching for it all the time, but I mean, the packaging's super cute. You can get nice looks from it. Like I say, it doesn't matter if you don't agree with me. That's absolutely fine. This is just my opinion, my review, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you like lots of makeup reviews, especially eyeshadow palettes, new things coming out, tutorials, some Primark calls, then please consider subscribing because I am getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. And when I do, I will be doing a giveaway. So make sure you subscribe, notification bell turned on so you know when that is coming. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.